Okay guys, I just had a, a can come down here getting on two fishers who are just actually fishing on public land and uh, they don't own that bridge. They do not own that part of the concrete. That concrete is not his, man. Anyway, uh, so she's uh, raising 10 kinds of hell but as soon as I said something about this tree that belongs to that person, she wanted to stop and move on because this tree is dying it could fall over and hurt me or them or anybody traveling up and down this canoe I mean uh, canoeing up and down this river so that being said my first can of the year I'm sure it won't be the last have a good day go ahead and call the police because I am all right y'all my first find of the day is something unknown. It looks like a peg from a telephone pole, maybe. Looks old. If anybody knows what that might be, uh, let me know down in the comments, please. And uh, thing of nails taped together I guess it's like a magazine for one of those uh, nail guns that's pretty cool and what is this I can't tell if that's a button or a washer it does have a hole in it but it could be a hole for a snap unsure It's too thick to be a washer, I believe. And some crunch and munch. A couple big nails. I'll get back to you in a little bit. Actually, I'm waiting for this can to come back and see if she says anything else. Or if the police come. Either way, I'm legal. So, I'll get back to you in a little bit. Okay, uh, this cast, I got a very, very old inch, as my folks in the UK would say, uh, and some basic crunching much. Get back at you in a little bit. Well, we got a hit on this hole here. Waiting to see if George could find what it was we got a hit on. It keeps going off. <laughs> it should have been in that there because it was pointing at that. I guess not. It's still going off. I'll get back to you if he finds anything. Well, he's dug to China again. And the pinpointer goes off on that tree root. But only pieces of it. Only the middle right there. So, I don't know if there's something in there or not. Keep on trying. 
Okay, we are back to magnet fishing. We did some metal detecting and well, it didn't turn out the way we wanted it to. And so we decided to come back to magnet fishing for a little while in kind of a new spot, same area, new spot for me to set. Uh, we're gonna try to see what we can find out here. Beautiful day. Birds are singing. Let's see what us can do. Get back to you in a minute. Okay, we came over here fishing because all we found in that hole was a little bit of full wrapped around that root. And you can see getting a bunch of crunchy munch tetanus. But this thing is kind of weird. It's heavy. It's not a cap to nothing. It's like full in the back. I don't know what that is. That kind of worries me of what it could be. So, there's what I got first off. Okay. Little Miss Shannon Poo pulled up what we believe to be a track explosive. Cap, whatever you want to call it. But yeah. If you hear a big boom on here, that's us. But if you hear a big boom, there won't be no camera left. So anyway, track explosive. George confers he does believe that to be a track explosive. So, ooh. All right, guys, this throw got oodles of crud. Crunching much, but in there was a little key. Look at that. We definitely have in that. Don't see anything else worth keeping. But that's pretty cool. These are the two keys that we uh, found. Uh, that's about as clean as they're going to get, they're going to fall apart. Yeah, very, very old keys. Okay, y'all. Hard to believe, but got a pocket knife today. We love getting pocket knives. I'm sorry, I'm showing it on another camera as well. We got three cameras going on here. Yeah, let me get this off here real quick. I moved, I was right there. And I moved right here. So actually I only moved about eight or 10 foot. Throwing in the same location I was at. But I got a better angle at that one side over there. So yeah, got an old pocket knife here. This side is. <laughs> the other side, not so much. Oh, yeah, it's gone. The other side, the handle is gone, but I'm going to take it home and clean it up regardless. I like finding smalls. There you go. Okay, I'm sorry about the wind and the noise from the lawnmowers. This is a knife that I found. Cleaned up really good in the rock tumbler. One side is, uh, uh, the handle's gone, but it cleaned up really, really good. Well, you're not gonna believe it. George found a piece of gun. Ugh, but it's a toy. But hey, look at that. Something. A gun's a gun. Yeah, it's a nug. A nug is a nug. And then more crunching much. Okay, this is the, uh, what's left of the, uh, toy gun Shannon found. As you can see, it's all that's left. There's not much. But 
But a gun is a gun. Nice. So I think I just found a bullet slug. I'm not sure there's rocks or something all over the bottom of it. But it's just shaped like one. So I'm gonna take it home and have a look at it. I don't know. And George thinks he found a grape shot. I'm not sure. It's got a seam. It's got a seam on it. They all have seams. I don't know, man. We're finding all kinds of stuff out here today. Weird stuff. Okay, y'all. Right there on my leg is what we thought was a slug of a bullet. Turns out it's from a black powder rifle. And that would be from the 1800s or earlier. Uh, possibly from that Civil War skirmish. Unsure. But that definitely is a black powder slug. I've seen them before. Or black powder bullet, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I'm sorry I'm shaky, guys. Uh, this is the uh, coal. It's called scrip. Uh, basically a token. It's what the coal miners use for uh, getting paid. And they would pay the, pay the stores. Uh and buy their goods with this type of money. Well, it's not money, it's a script. Uh, it's from the 1880s to 1920s in Pike County, Kentucky, Letcher County, Kentucky, and uh, in West Virginia. So this is the one we got. It cleaned up really nice. Don't know how we got it because it was up on the magnet between metal but there you go. Okay, here are two buttons. As you can see, that one says Union Made. Very old. Not sure of the date. I would say early 1900s. You're getting them in the right time And, uh, yeah, it's cleaning up very nice. That's one of them. Here's the other one. It says Sanfordized. Again, very old button. I'd say late 1800s, early 1900s. Hey, right here is another uh, coal script. I can't get it to come in right. It ain't, it's not cleaned up real well, but uh, definitely another coal script. Or a coal token. That's how they paid uh, the stores and such. I'm going to clean it up a little bit better. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart anymore. These things are really neat. I'm sorry, that's the best I can get it right now. But I'll, I'll show you again if it cleans up any better. Okay, this is... Uh, a drawer pool, I guess, like a jewelry box drawer or something. It has to be old too. And as you can see, the green on it there, that's brass, but I think this part is metal. I believe that's how we pulled it up. Again, very cool.